So this is an update on my wireless motorised faceplate Iron Man helmet project. Um, as you just saw then, I was using this Sony remote to activate the helmet. The receiver is just inside the chin at the bottom there, which is why that didn't work very well. Just here. So basically everything to make this wireless is built inside. So we've got six AA batteries. We've got the servo controller, we've got a pickaxe 08 board which is basically what's receiving the infrared signals and controlling the servo controller. There's two power regulators, a 5 volt regulator to power the electronics and the red board over to the right is a uh, basically a variable voltage regulator which I can drive the servos with a different voltage. Um, and there's a little power switch in the middle and that's about it, that's the infrared receiver and it uses some um, Sony infrared codes which the pickaxe can send and receive natively so at the moment I'm using this very old Sony remote to control it but in the future the transmitter will be connected to the suit so here I've got um, a pickaxe 18 development board uh, that's the switch I had on when the helmet was wired and that's got an infrared transmitter on it, which is the sort of thing you get inside a remote control, so it's an infrared LED. Um, basically this is going to be built into the suit so that the transmitter is just inside the neck piece so that it shines directly at the transmitter, sorry, the receiver underneath the chin of the helmet. So probably instead of having a big remote I'll have two little buttons somewhere mounted on the suit probably in a toggle sort of mode, so you press once to open the faceplate and once to close it and then you can override the lights in the eyes, which I still haven't fitted with the other button by turning them on and off if you wish to do so. So the next plan is to get the rest of the suit sorted and get these electronics built in there somewhere. The plan is to make everything wireless on the suit including the lights in the hand repulsors and also the arc reactor probably, I um, don't know if I'll use infrared, but it'd be quite good to have the pieces so they're not coupled with wires, so you don't actually have wires running down your arm and of course up your neck and the, there could be some coupling with infrared in the wrist and the glove so that you can take the gloves off without having to unplug a wire and you can obviously take the helmet off without having to unplug a wire obviously anyone who's got a Sony remote can uh, walk around at a convention opening and closing the faceplate but um, I guess not many people carry remote controls around with them so here's the rest of the suit as it stands at the moment. So uh, obviously that's just a blank cast of the helmet. And the plan, as I said, would be to put the uh, infrared transmitter just in here, poking up so that it shines directly into the bottom of the chin. And then have probably have buttons mounted on the uh, arm somewhere so you can press them with the other hand or somewhere perhaps on the hip. So you can't actually see the person pressing the buttons to activate the faceplate and the eyes.